slow down. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got something brand new for the channel, a new build, something super exciting and something that we've never thought we'd be purchasing off of an insurance auction, but we've seen the opportunity and we quickly jumped on it because we are going to be building our new shop here soon and we're going to utilize it there. And also we noticed that we need this sucker every day here, pretty much what we do, engine swaps and just lifting heavy packages and everything in between. And it is going to be here any minute because it came out of state and it's on a heavy duty truck. I think it's on a semi maybe, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead. He's going to pull up here any minute now and we're gonna check this sucker out Dang, son. I can't even believe it how the heck did he get it up there how's he gonna get it off I don't know I think he has ramps there she is dang she is massive Alrighty guys, so we have arrived and first glance at this sucker and it looks massive. So far we've had some pretty good news on it, right? Yeah, it drove up here actually, so we're good with that dude. Uh, it honestly just drives, that's all I'm worried dude. about right now. Everything else. Do you see any leaks or anything? Just quick off the bat, a little bit of rust, but you know what? I just see, you know, just an ordinary uh, oil just all over the bottom over there, but dude, this thing is a piece. This is gonna be crazy and I think it weighs like 20,000 pounds or something like that. Something like that, I'm really not sure, but they definitely had to deliver it our trailers would not be able to handle this dude. yeah i thought it was going to come like maybe on a, like a super heavy duty dually trailer but they had to bring it on a semi dude, this is crazy this dude. is crazy let's go ahead and uh take these ramps out and set them up and get this sucker off of here let's do it What'd you grab? Oh, we need a jumper box and also grab the checkbook because this one was pretty expensive to get delivered. What was it, like 1200 bucks or something yeah, like that? Yeah, 1200 bucks. I mean, it could have been at. cheaper. It could have been nine. Yeah, I mean, that's a it heavy piece. Yeah, it could have been around like 900, but this guy offered to bring you a lot sooner and he was already there. So we uh, just went ahead and did it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it was worth it. You know, we got it right away and that sucker looks like a beast, dude. dude I, I was just looking at it quickly while you were gone, dude. Brand new tires. Really? Yeah, brand new tires on the front. You know, dude, dude it's looking really good so far. So honestly, dude, I'm pretty excited for this build. Just like for like, just the like Lambo, anybody. the oh, Ferrari. Yeah. This is something that, I know. Mean, this is new territory. You know what I mean, dude? Exactly. So, anything that's new territory is like super crazy exciting super fun for us because we learn a lot and oh, we're gonna yeah. learn along with you guys and you guys are gonna help us vice versa yep let's go ahead and uh see if we can get this sucker off let's do it <laughs> dude that is crazy dude, dude this is i'm gonna might have to let him drive it off because i don't even i, I don't mean, know how to handle it just yet yeah he, he already had a little bit of experience two brake pedals no way! Oh, what? Look at this one. It's like super loose. This yeah. one is actually pretty tight. Yeah, one of these may be like the emergency brake or something. It's just the same as the other forklift, I think. But, yeah. dude, there's tons of potential here. What the heck? It's what? got crane attachments? Oh, dang. Or you can do a crane attachment or a, what is that? It's like a winch or a hoist, a hoist attachment. And it's got a blower, dude. This thing is turbo. Turbo charge, already good stuff. And you got, it's double charge. Look at that twin turbo dude <laughs> this is insane dude let's go ahead and see if we can jump this find, sucker let's see off, if we dude. can find the battery dude where yeah. would the battery be probably under your feet probably what we got going on back here detroit Dang. diesel right here that is a beast dude is it turbocharged i think it is no i don't think i, I think it's just regular no, I didn't see any leaks, which is awesome, unless it all already leaked out. Probably. <laughs> but it's got a pinnel hook right here, dude. What? We got a we got a pinnel hook trailer. We can go pick up builds with this thing. Heck yeah, we're gonna go pick up some heavy, uh, more heavy duty builds. But oh, dude, yeah. let's go ahead and see what's going on. He's gonna he's gonna take off one van. Yeah, one van. Take off one van, and uh, then we I think we should be able to drop it down. Oh, dude, check this out. Dang. This is hydraulic. Oh. We're gonna have to definitely be adding that, but is that is that where the battery's at right there? Yeah, it's right behind this. There's two batteries here. I wonder what this is right here. Oh, this is probably the exhaust or air something. filter. Or air filter, yeah, that's that's right. Air filter. Dang. Oh my goodness, look at these big old hydraulics, dude. Look at the big boom. Look how thick that metal is. That sucker is, dude. is thick, but yeah, let's go ahead and actually see if this sucker will fire, man. Yeah, I haven't even heard it fire up, so this is going to be something new right here. Diesel, right? Of course diesel. it's a diesel. This sucker is heavy duty, man. Oh, 
Air brakes? I, I think that's what I just heard, some air brakes or something. But make sure you're in neutral with this lever right here. Where's your drive lever? What's this lever? I don't know. I don't even know how to start this thing. I don't know how to do You this. might have to get, or this, there's your e-brake right there. Pull that up. It's all the way up. Wait. We might just have to get him to do it. Cause he already knows how to do it. I guess he was probably messing with it. All right, so I actually just fired up and actually fired up pretty dang smooth right there. I don't know how to work this thing still. I'm gonna let it warm up and then I guess we'll drive it off. All right. I don't know how to handle that thing, dude. Not yet. Not yet. I don't want to drive it off the trailer, you know what I mean? Yeah, we don't want to be liable, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, the fork. Dude, that thing purrs, dude. It's just purring. Hey, look at the light on top. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we just took care of the payment. He's about to leave out of here, but dude, this is a sick trailer right here that he actually hauled this thing with because after he unloaded that sucker, that axle right there slid all the way forwards just to even out the weight or something like that. I don't know, but that's a heavy duty one. We're probably gonna have to buy a special trailer just for this thing. What do you think? Exactly, dude. Probably gonna have to do dual, dually tires, right? Yeah, dually tire trailer, something with like air brakes or something like that because this thing is heavy, Yeah, dude. none of the trailers that we got can handle this thing, honestly. Oh, heck no, dude. But, but we're gonna figure it out. Let's take this thing home, yeah, dude. Yeah, let's fire this thing up and drive it down the road, man. All right, so I'm kind of getting used to how to work this thing. You gotta turn the key and then you gotta i think this is to cut off this is to cut the fuel on this is to cut the fuel off so or is that a choke i don't Not know sure. i think what it's is... a fuel pump because i hear it right oh, now maybe and then i think somehow put it in neutral on one of these gears battery dead you gotta slide this door close me up dang what if she get locked in there we're good and i left the battery booster on here all i gotta do is just hit this button and we are good to go. Biggest forklift, <laughs> dude. This sucker is massive compared to all these other cars. Let me stand over here. Man, I'll... that rear rear wheel uh, turn radius, man, it's a lot different, man. I just had to go all over the road, dude. dude. That was sketchy. I thought you were about to like fly into that ditch or something. And when he was unloading it, the tire was kind of flat, and it looked like it was just about to pop yeah, off that trailer. Yeah, we definitely need some new tires because them things are bald. But on the front, these tires are brand they look, new. They dude. look Check new to me. Dude, that oh is brand my new tires goodness, right there. Dude, that, those will do right there. We just need to pump up the rears. They're, they're shot, but we're gonna definitely replace them. 
Oh dude, my this goodness, thing is dude. like a tank, dude. I don't even know what we just got ourselves into right here, dude. I didn't know it was this massive. Dude, that thing is huge, dude. The, How? the nice forks are huge and everything, dude. Dude, this is going to be sick. We just couldn't figure out the boom extension. We still need to figure that out. Maybe the hydraulics are shot on it. Yeah, who knows? Maybe that's why they put it up on the auction because the boom doesn't really extend. Yeah, and but... this was actually a rental company that sold it, you know yeah. what I mean? But dude, this thing is crazy. Let's walk around it, dude. Let's, let's do let's it. Let's do a little walk around. So we got, first of all, dually axle. Look at front. that huge diff in the front, man. Huge diff, and it has like, it's like crazy what looking. What the heck man. is that? It's like, <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, we got these turn signals right here. Yes, they sir, work. They work. Nice LEDs. Dude, this piece right here, I guess you can just walk on it. I don't know. That's nice. Still, I guess that's just the counterweight, you know, yep. between that side. But dude, other than that, we got some fuel tank right here. Diesel tank right Let's there. See. That's where you put that diesel. Let me smell it. Will Jeez. this thing roll cold? Ooh. Or do we need to throw a little turbo on we it? We need or to something? throw a little, little turbo, diesel I, turbo. I did notice that there's a good bit of rust on this thing, but you know what? It's not all the way through. Well, this ain't a brand new unit. You know, this is this is kind of an old. What year is this it? This is a 1985 right here. 85, dude. Check out this one tire that's flat. Oh, dang. Dude, that's you got wires sticking right out there. of it. I think they were doing like donuts or something in it. But, dude, how are we going to get these wheels off just to change that's it? That's like a semi truck. Exactly like a semi. Pops will know how to do that. He, check he's, this out, dude. dude, he's going to love working on this thing, man. This is Dude, that's thing. nice that. hydraulic steering and stuff like that see how everything's kind of we need to give this thing a nice pressure wash you know what exactly. i mean exactly pressure wash grease everything wash the wash it wash it all just to see where it's leaking from and stuff like that but over here we got coolant radiator dude, dude that's an old radiator right there and that's a huge engine what kind of engine is that i don't know detroit diesel is it four cylinder it looks like four yeah cylinder. it looks like a four cylinder for sure i didn't see a turbo on it which kind of sucks but you know what we don't need that yeah we need to figure out how this boom extends right here which these hydraulic lines right here look actually Ooh. new you see that yeah they they're do more brand, brand new, new hydraulic lines um as for the other stuff i have no idea we're just gonna have to figure it out that's a that's a little rental company panel hook definitely gonna that's, come in handy i guess yeah so uh, this side over here, all the t all this, uh, the tail lights work. Yeah, the hydraulics. Look at this huge hydraulic right I here. Oh, dude, that thing is insane, dude. Yeah, that's not leaking. The, yeah, none of this is leaking. We uh, honestly, we can actually get uh, like a hydraulics company out here to check this stuff out. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Just to go through everything, maybe even figure out why that boom ain't working or something like that. Well, we can probably try to figure Let's do that our own out. research. But Ooh. we got what do we got here? I see fuel filter right there. A fuel system that looks like it's been changed recently. Yeah, fuel system. This is an air box. I don't know. Let's check this. You want to unscrew out. it and see yeah, what it looks I like on the inside? See what it looks like because if it's been changed before, you know, it should be a good sign. Ooh, they have some words on it. Oh, it looks like it's, oh yeah, it looks like it's been changed before. Look, it gives you the date. Nice. 3 10 2015. <laughs> hey, that sucker is way overdue. Yeah, that's when it was inspected right there. So we're definitely gonna have to re-inspect that sucker, buy some new things for it, but dude. I mean, overall, for what we paid for it, I think we got a good deal on our hands. Oh, right yeah, here. definitely, dude. Maybe a brand new paint job on this sucker, and, dude, we should be in the game. All right, guys, so the boom is not working, but, dude, check this out. On this door, we got our whole entire uh, service manual, basically. This is the service instructions that you basically go through. I don't know if you do this, like, every month, every day, or something like that, but, heck, I don't know. Look, radiator, gas check, one, 24 quarts. It basically tells you how much quarts we need, and as for our hydraulic oil tank, right here it looks like we're honestly completely low right Dude, probably because i do see a leak right there it's slowly leaking it or maybe leaking a lot because it's probably empty but and we it probably sat here since 2015 somewhere you know before somebody threw yeah. it up on the auction probably leaked everything out but as for this though look at this oil engine dude they have like everything written down all the part is... numbers and all that good stuff yep but we're definitely i know a place where we can get some hydraulic fluid a whole like five gallon bucket that's probably what it takes right there yeah, yeah it's gonna take every bit of it but let's jump on the top of this thing and look at it from a different angle yeah, i actually want to lift that uh, not the boom but the whole thing up just so we can see that engine a little yeah, bit do better it. We crank it up and lift that boom up or All the right. i don't know what you'd call that yeah i that's guess it's a, boom. A, it's a boom dude. it's a boom man boom 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 this is what we're gonna call this thing boom this is boom right here Freaking old boom old boom right here i think <laughs> let us know what you guys think we should call it because this thing is gonna put in work oh yeah for sure let's see how it cranks up those fans oh work? yeah no the fans don't work but i noticed that we got some kind of heater back here and that actually works watch this actually it don't <laughs> dude i think it worked earlier though yeah, it did work a little earlier oh there, there it goes. goes what back is that knob right there it's just a heater knob oh dude nice heat for the winter Man, dude, that's nice and warm. Does that come off the engine heat or something? I have no idea, but check the little wiper out and it actually works. Check this out. That's it. 
Dude. Man, this thing is mint, dude. What about what about that rooftop thing? Does it open up? Oh yeah, we got we got something right here. Dude, some fresh air that up in is this sick, right here. dude. This is an all seasons mobile right here. This is an all seasons vehicle right here. This is right everything, here. man. This thing is legit, man. We need to get these little turbo fans going. We're good to go. Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and lift up that boom, and then we're gonna check out that side over the top. Let's do it. Yeah, that sucks, but you know what? Look how high it lifts up. We could utilize it as it is, you know what I mean? You see some of that hydraulic fluid leaking? Yeah, I wonder if it's safe to actually climb up under this as the hydraulics are like this. Right. I want to see if that... What if that sucker just slams down? But dude, look at this big old thing right here. Yeah, I see hydraulic fluid right there. There's a drive shaft. We're just going to have to get some of these lines changed over, which is not a big deal. I guess dude. that's the transmission right there, the hydraulic Holy pump. Holy mackerel. Holy <laughs> mackerel, dude. Check that that transmission basically right there. I think it's a transmission and it also powers the hydraulic yeah, pump or something like that. Yeah, look at like this. That. I think this is the huge hydraulic pump that actually goes into the that little box under there for the hydraulic fluid. So that is one massive pump. That's probably where we need to locate while our boom is not extending. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly. That could be the issue. But, I mean, the engine looks pretty clean over the top. Definitely going to need to wash this thing and just see how well it cleans up. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, I do see a little bit of leaking from the top, but hopefully... Yeah, there's, there's just a few lines that we can just change here and there. Not a really big deal, but check this out. I think this is where you actually connect a little a winch or a hoist, crane, crane attachment. Something like that, dude. That is insane, dude. Check out how big this thing this is. This sucker dude. is thick, dude. What do you think? Can this pick up a semi, you think? It could probably pick up the front end of a semi. I think a semi weighs like uh, 33,000 pounds or something. I don't know, dude. It, it, we'll try to pick up anything we possibly can, but uh, one thing that I want to ask you guys is... This Detroit Diesel, what kind of, I never even heard of this, you know, Detroit I Diesel? I've heard of them. They're actually pretty dang good, and I think parts are readily available, so we're good on, like, if something breaks on us, we can definitely get a bunch of parts, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, dude. What I really want to do uh, turbo it. Tur <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could turbo it. I don't know how that well how that goes, but I want to just completely wash this Detail thing, you know, it. get a big five-gallon bucket of degreaser and just just dump it purple on this power thing. some purple power this thing but i wonder if this is the fuel little cutoff thing right here you know that i'm pulling and stuff something like that there is a lot that we need to learn right here but you know what that's why we honestly wanted to just do this project because we need a forklift yeah we need a forklift and plus we want to learn about yeah we want to learn about forklifts or about heavy duty equipment you know because all uh, yeah all this stuff every like heavy duty equipment basically runs off the, the same, same thing same yeah. concept four cylinder diesel and big old hydraulic pump and all that good stuff all right, i had to just turn off that battery uh, booster but dude check this out man <laughs> you got a little pole right here this is actually came in handy when i was driving down the road dude. oh yeah those mirrors come in handy but look at this long boom right here or is that a what yeah, do you call that dude, cylinder this cylinder well i don't know what you would call you see this this is why we're learning but i think this is the thing that actually extends the whole boom up and out of there dude that's insane so as long as it is that's how far it can extend which is pretty dang wild and there's another uh cylinder up there as well so it could even go further oh dang dude there's all types of crazy stuff that we're learning about this thing dude. And this is insane i can't dude. wait to use this thing honestly especially when we're going to be building our shop and just like to pick up just cars or whatnot yeah unload cars and all that good stuff pull engines out uh pull cars out of the ground drop them 50 feet from the air <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, I wouldn't mind, you know, doing some projects with this thing. But overall, so far, everything looks good. It looks like it was a well-maintained unit, you yeah. know what I mean? Somebody maintained it perfectly. It just sat for a while, you know, exactly. that's all it is. Because as you can tell, there is new lines ever so often. You see this? That's a brand new line that somebody installed. And uh, that's all it takes is just changing a few lines. Like that leaking all the way right there is just coming from one of those. Let's actually check 
it out right there. Yeah, something up there. Probably the line, one of the lines, or I don't I know. I wonder honestly. if they have like seals or you just completely buy a new line. But we do have a company yeah. in Chattanooga that actually does all this. Like they do yeah, custom so. lines and all that good stuff. So we should be good there, dude. But guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. Let us know what you think about this massive forklift. And if you have any suggestions, let us know what color we should paint it, what we should do to it, how we should soup it up. And also, if there's any forklift experts out there, be sure to give us some tips and tricks. We could definitely use them. So with all that being said, guys, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also be sure to give us a follow on Instagram where you can get inside scoop before YouTube. And if you want to help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.